Yeah. So Ashton Gray is a 13 year old US based uh, investment and development firm and uh, we ex we invest in various asset classes like land development, senior senior development, multifamily and retail centers and uh, we started our investment venture in India to bridge the gap in the existing market. We want to create a platform where everyone can invest in US market and this venture this launch is particularly for our fourth product launch along with our channel partners and investors. The property will be located in US. Yes, it will be in US. Yeah, the investment. So we'll take the investment from India to US. US. Yeah, and it comes. So when we take the investment, it's being purviewed by RBI. All the compliances are in order. Yes, all the compliances are in order. Yeah. The investor is safe because you are taking the money to the foreign land. So we are. Uh, yes, 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 yes. So when you take we the are money, more concerned to, about it. yes, yes. No, I understood completely. Yeah. No, when you take the money to the foreign land, hmm. it is also. It is also going in a certain structure where there is no way that it can be and it is a immovable property. We have to be a little more cautious about it because you are taking it to the real, in real estate business. I believe. In a real, but the way that it's structured, Indian Indian investors are sitting as a mezzanine debtors. Where when even if something happens, we have hundred percent track record over the past thirteen years with all our investors, and we have seven hundred plus investors in US, and the structure it sits in is mezzanine debt structure. That is even if Hypothetically, if something happens, first in, after the bank, Indian investors will be cashed out first. It's only after that rest of us will get cashed out. Yeah. Company Yeah, like I said, it's it, it's sitting as a mess in debt. So that is how it's being assured. And we have also applied for SEBI, so we are waiting on SEBI approval. Be yeah, yeah, we have applied for it. Yeah, yeah so it might come. Yeah, it has been more than three months, so we might expect it any minute. So how do you bridge the? It's a Friday evening. We all know that. But uh, yes, before we move forward, I would love to know more from you guys. Um, All your questions. Uh, so, what about you? My name is Johnson. I work with an aerospace and defense establishment. I have come here to see how we are protected in terms of investments in case we invest. So, these pertinent questions will definitely come up as the thing progresses on the investment. Anyone who would love to share something about investments and what are you looking forward to from this evening? Why we are here because uh, uh, we have many investor customers, so they are looking for good returns. So as for they mentioned that uh, they have the 18%. So it looks uh, amazing, so that's the reason we are here. In, in, uh, when you decided to attend this event, what is that question in your mind that you had? Of course, I said, like uh, even in Indian, uh, any future term, which are not giving you the mic. 80% flat, uh, it would take average of like 10 years or something. <laughs> so I'm just curious like how the value to add value to our Indian customers who invested in the US. Getting so the approval and entitlements for that, for that development. And then we go ahead and sell those finished lots to national publicly listed home builders. And when these publicly listed home builders put these lots under contract, they're actually putting up huge earnest money deposits with us before we even put a shovel in the ground. So we're not taking any vertical construction risk to the point of we're putting up a huge office building or a huge multi-family building and speculating that things are going to be okay and things are going to lease up after we finish the construction on the project. So it's important to kind of figure out you know, what kind of asset classes that we're operating in. Obviously, the interest rate situation is not ideal. It makes things more difficult. Uh, it makes financing more difficult, but at the same time, seasoned developers that have been in the business are still able to go ahead and get construction loans. For example, Naveen Briarwood. For example, we'll show you an AV of a project that we just started construction on maybe four weeks ago. This is a 200 acre development that's going to have about 775 finished homes once it's all completely done. And it also has a 13 acre apartment site and seven acres. Closed on a 19, uh, $19 million construction loan on this project just two weeks ago, even in the midst of all these interest rate hikes. Because the important thing to know is that the banks are still lending, but the banks are lending 
to people that have liquidity, that have been in the business for a long time, and they're lending based on the merits of the project. So if, you, if you're looking at the specifics of the project itself, I think you will see that it's completely been de risk and we're not taking any vertical construction risk that would be subject to the interest rate uh, risk that's, that's in the current environment. Anybody else? Anybody Looking at an asset that's with such such uh, magnitude, 500 acres and all, and it, it is not built an asset till now. You are building an asset actually over the years, two years down the line. For Alan, for the starting itself, that is a little so little that is very you know. The question is keep on asking myself. So the first yeah. thing to keep in mind is that the 18 percent is not paid out annually, right? Right now, the only types of investments that were offered in the Indian market is is things of a short duration. We're only taking projects that we have already gone through the acquisition entitlements and approval stage, and only at the time when we're ready to start construction are we introducing it to the Indian market, right? That's number one. Number two is the 18% is not annual. We are the retail centers. Uh, we also, like they said, we are also recipient of Texas Builder Association Star Awards in multiple years in a row. We are vertically integrated construction company where you know, it gives us control over our uh, budget and schedule, and we don't really have to depend on external gender con construction company. And we build only for ourselves. We don't build for our partners. We don't build anybody outside our own development. And speaking about a track record, we have 100% track record, and all our investors have been loyal enough, and we have 700 plus investors. In fact, this is pretty new to us. We are never really marketed in the US. Every time we you know, introduce a new investment opportunity, it gets oversubscribed by you know probably two days. And then comes the question then why did this, why do we need more investors in India? Well again it has a new story to it. When I have unparalleled love for India, I always wanted to be in India more. So we started traveling to India more. And when we wanted to park our own funds in India, which was in India, we wanted to invest, we couldn't find anything that had risk-adjusted returns. And we also had our investors in India who are of Indian origins ask us if there's any mechanism where we can take the investments from India to US. And then we started exploring and we started looking at compliances and other tax implications that might come up. And it took a good one and a half years before we came up with the right structure where we can start investing in US. So we started using the ODI process, which you know obviously it comes under RDI purview. And that is the way to structure. And it's very hard to see a lot of new investors from all over the city. In initially it was just you know family and friends, like it's always in any other investment firm. But when the third opportunity came through, we had a lot of investors from all over the country from Delhi, Bombay, Bangalore, and some tier two cities. And it was really, really, it's a positive reinforcement that we are on the right path. And today we are here to launch our fourth project. And I really invite you all to be part of this great venture and help us scale and scale along with us. Thank you.